What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So Adam Fletcher, the community manager, just posted where the new brand new patch notes with all the changes that they've been talking about is now available to be viewed. And uh, this will be going into effect, it looks like, on the 17th. So we're going to go ahead and go through these and see what changed. And then we're going to go in and uh, we'll have to test on the 17th how the changes to the uh, Spirit Born, uh, in particular, the the Evade build are actually going to feel. I mean, maybe it won't be too bad, but, um, you know... I get on one hand side of the coin that like if there really is quote unquote stability issues, then that definitely needs to be fixed because I do not want anybody's game experience to be bad. Right. Um, however, on the other side of that coin, I, I am just tired of that excuse. But anyway, let's go ahead and break down these patch notes and see what we got here. So there's some user interface stuff, um, some combat text here. Uh, so now they'll change instead of 10,000 damage, it will display as 10K. That's kind of cool. Um, new Nahanto themed load screens will pop in. Uh, that's kind of cool. All right, Crass Undercity. Rewards from the Crass Undercity have been improved. More random items will drop. Now at least one legendary item is guaranteed to drop. Gold drops have doubled. Awesome. Um, there's some more buffs to the, some of the monsters. The timer adjustment has been increased. Um, that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't think it really was a big issue. Like I get like, as you're leveling up and playing like an alternate character or something in the undercity, the timer might be an issue, but even during my playthrough in the campaign and the story, I, there was never an issue as far as like time. So, but, uh, this is kind of nice. It just gives a little bit of extra, you know, breathing time there for completing that. So that's cool. Uh, season of hatred rising. Oh, finally the realm walker. It no longer reduces spawns if only one person is following it. Wait, it did that? So wait a second. If one person was following Realm Walker, it reduced the number of spawns, which IE made it take longer to complete. Oh my God. Who? Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad that's fixed. Increase max spawns allowed at a time to 20 instead of 15. Okay. The base movement has been increased. That's very nice. Every time you kill the blood, uh, the wave of the blood bound guardians, the one walker move speed increases. That's pretty good because that this whole event needed to go faster. It was really, really slow and just like, you know, like your head's bobbing, just like, okay, I'm just waiting for you to spawn these monsters. Um, low chance to summon a treasure goblin. That's pretty cool. Uh, remove the hatred rising icon from the map. Players will now find the realm walker via the event icon. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, here we go. Balance updates. This is the big part. Sorcerer, which to me is unplayable, but Makuna would argue with me, but that's okay. Uh, the whole overheating aspect now scales. Charge flesh now scales. Um, let's see. Doombringer increased. Shatter vow increased. Grandpapa increased. Shroud of False Death increased. Looks like everything got increased here. Um, Shaco, even Undarials did. Okay, that's cool. Tempering. The minimum damage values on low legendary elemental surge tempers affix have been increased. Okay, that's nice. Miscellaneous. Uh, the number of scrolls restorations rewarded from the Dark Citadel weekly cash has been increased. Previously, it was one to two on all torment difficulties. Now you'll get... Three guaranteed on Torment 4. That's awesome. I really, when that, that first came out, like the, the scrolls the based on the Torment level, I was like, okay, obviously the higher you do, you should get more. So this is a very nice change. Um, let's see. The following items are back, guys. The Frostburn, Urzarath, uh, uh, Shroud of False Death, and the aspect of the Agile Wolf. Those are all back. If you guys didn't know, for the while, these were disabled because they were breaking the game. Um, but now they're back. A new whisper for completing a Dark Citadel wing has been introduced. Oh, okay, cool. A new mount uh, for getting to Paragon 300. That's kind of nice. Uh, super Elite Monsters will drop more loot. Fantastic. More loot is always good. Bug fixes. Uh, some console bug fixes. Season of Hatred Rising. Uh, there were some bugs there with some of the temper, or like the uh, Zakurum remnants. All right, Dark Citadel. Uh, some bugs there. Crass under city, some, some issues. All right, runes. Here we go. Uh, fix an issue where the overflow for the Qvune did not affect the duration. Yep, that's been going on. Um, fix an issue where the following skills cannot be recast. 
Okay. Mercenaries. I didn't have any issues with the mercenaries, but I think the only one, it just seemed weird, like, with the mounts, but I guess that was okay. Uh, some more issues where completing Infernal Hordes and Strongholds had some problems. Dungeons in the Pit. Some more issues. Some quest problems. If you did the story, there was a lot of uh, quest bugs, it felt like. So now it looks like a lot of this stuff got fixed. The events, some other stuff. General gameplay things. Players already... Def uh, pl here we go. Players that have already defeated Echo of Lilith this season will be rewarded with a resplendent spark soon after logging in once this patch is live. So there we go. So we'll get your resplendent spark if you haven't got it already like me. Um, I didn't get mine yet. I've already defeated Echo of Lilith. So on the 17th, you should be able to get your spark. So that'll be really, really nice. Um, just some more regular issues here, looks like. Some big fixes. The Party Finder user experience. Okay, so this is just a rough breakdown. Um, I didn't see anything here about Spearborn exactly how they're going to change that. I mean, uh, let's see. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So fix an issue where Spearborn could cancel the evade animation mid evade. So there's not anything else on this, but we'll have to see how it goes. We'll have to, we'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, guys, quick quick update. These patch notes are here. This will be down in the description below for you guys to read over. Um, but some good changes coming, which I think is cool. The biggest one I think we're all waiting for is to see how the brand that Evade build is going to feel after. I mean, I released a video yesterday talking about it and just my utter disappointment. Um, but hopefully, hopefully it won't be too bad. And we will still have some form of the evade build. I know that it didn't, it doesn't do the most damage in all of those things. I know it doesn't, but it would be really fun if the build was still viable to some degree and it just wasn't unplayable to where nobody's ever going to play the build again. I hope that that doesn't happen. I hope that build is still super fun and it can still be really, really. Um, good to use as like a farming build for like hell ties and stuff like that now just so everybody doesn't think i'm just one-sided i do feel for the other side if there is stability and performance issues because i don't know but if that is a problem and it's causing a big problem for players game experience then yes that should be fixed otherwise it's i i just it's just been the same excuse so you got to take the information as we get it so it's been a year of just the same two things. Whenever something is broken or something is fun, it's bug or in-game stability problems. That's the same two that we continuously get. So, um, But hopefully it won't be too bad, guys. But there's the patch notes. Let's like the video. Let's get it over 50 likes. The link to that will be down in the description below. Go check those out if you want to read the uh, some of the user stuff a little bit more in depth. But we did cover the majority of things. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.